Well, you might ask yourself, uh, why would a church commit to developing a place like the ravines? Why, why the space, the time, the energy to develop something like this, this place I'm sitting right now? And, and I, I think it really goes back to, to value, to what God values and to the things that we should value. Uh, some years ago, I had a woman talking to me who was actually getting ready to get married. And she said, now I'm getting married, but after I get married, uh, does the church offer sort of ongoing tune-ups for marriage? And I, I thought that was kind of an interesting way to put it. She talked about the fact that you know, with their car, they go in every so many thousands of miles, they get a basic tune-up for their car, and do we do something like that for marriages? And what struck me is that not only did our church not do that very well, but most churches don't do anything to help ongoing health of marriages. So one of the values of the ravines really comes from both the helping in times of crisis as well as encouraging in times where things are going well. So right here at the ravines, you'll, you'll see things happening like uh, counseling and help for those who are, who are at just kind of a, a crossroads, a difficult point in their marriage. You'll see uh, times where there's, uh, to, to use the car metaphor, where there's a complete breakdown, where things have just come apart and the wheels are coming off and the engine is smoking, and boy, there's crisis. Well, the place like the ravines creates, creates a time and a space for nurture, for care, for encouragement, for, for equipping, for counseling, and preparing a marriage to become stronger. And, and then that regular tune-up. There's things that happen here that we call good to great weekends. And those are simply times where couples who are, who are doing fine, they're doing well. They might even be doing great. But how can they make their marriage better? How do they tune up that marriage and keep it strong and healthy and kind of keep that, keep that vehicle on the road in, in a safe and a healthy manner? And, and so here at the Ravines, there's opportunity for help in times of crisis, in kind of, kind of mini breakdowns, or when things are going well, or even fantastic. Another value that's been added to what's happening here is training for leaders. Uh, faith Church is using this space as a training ground for their own leaders and, and with time for leaders from other churches and other ministries to say we want to help people grow healthy and strong in every area of their lives, in marriages, yes, but also for leaders in their personal leadership development, in their ministry, in their spiritual lives. And so all these values are there. And, and the final thing is simply this. Uh, the ravines will be used to add value in ways we haven't even dreamed of yet. We're waiting to see what God develops and creates a desire to do, and all of a sudden we'll say, here's a place to do it. That's some of the values that you find here at the ravines.